All right, so let's get into it. This will be BFF second. Bryce, thanks for joining. Bryce Hall, so we got like two of the biggest TikTok stars and I guess all around social media stars, podcast stars, everything stars, right? <laughs> yeah, uh, Bryce, I mean, I seen you doing now like the Capital University podcast as oh, well. Oh, shit, wait, wait, we started? <laughs> yeah, we started. I didn't know that. We start that's casual. your intro? Okay, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. Like that's a, your, that's your, your casual yeah, You know what? Intro. Someone's casual ripping my ass. Thing. You are doing the Capital one with Pomp, and I like Pomp. He's an awesome dude. You guys are doing the finance stuff. People were like ripping us. That I saw some long thread, actually. Uh, it was like Dave doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, and Pomp does, because Pomp has like a plan with Bryce, and, and Dave and Josh just don't know what the fuck they're talking about. We're going <laughs> to shove it up their ass like, I always have a plan. Some fucking loser on some fucking, what was the name of it? Morning Brew. All these finance people hate me or like want to be me. It's one or the other. That's that's my world in finance. I got the Davy Day Trader shtick going. I'm actually wearing the green hammer. Do you know what this is, Bryce, by the way? No, I do not. So I like, I started day trading and I did the pomp podcast right before you and i have i just somebody i went through a phase where i did like unboxing where people just sending me gifts and i got this green hammer that somebody sent me it's just like an industrial hammer and i picked it up one day and the stock market like went up when i was holding it so it became my good luck charm but anyways yeah you got that how's that uh capital finance going uh it's going well i mean we we've pre-filmed already about like 20 20 podcasts i'd say and what I, what do you guys just is he telling you like how to invest your money? Is that what it is? I mean, it, that was kind of the goal, but not really. <laughs> so what do you guys talk about? We talk. We just talk to a bunch of a uh, bunch of investors, people that are already in the space, and we just kind of like talk about like what I'm doing, what what they've done to succeed, how I can make my businesses more successful. So it's you're just like, like learning from the people. Yeah, it's kind of like a learning show. experience. Got it. All right. Just right. from like literally the best sources in the world. Yeah, I know. You guys had Cuban on the first one. I saw that. Uh, let's get in. So we, fit, we we actually, to give the background, Josh and I recorded one. I had two of our guys in here. They were talking over me, so I got rid of them. Um, but our first <laughs> podcast kind of <laughs> started creating some controversy in the TikTok world. And I, to me, I don't even know why. I guess people thought we trashed Nessa. Um, I actually didn't think we trashed Nessa really at all. Um and I guess there's some back and forth. In the first podcast, I think I said something to the effect, she blew up because she dated you. Now, I got some back and forth being like, hey, Dave, you old fucking pervert. Like, stop talking about like a 16-year-old and fucking go in the nursing home, you fucking pervert. I got a lot of those, which I thought was hilarious, by the way. Like, I thought everything people were sending at me was super funny. Um, so let's clarify. Was Nessa... And we tried to get her on the podcast. You asked her, right? Uh, uh, yeah, I did. But like, she, she, she just didn't know if she wanted to come on yet. I, I think, would be like, nice to her. I wasn't gonna like trash her, oh. make an asshole out of her. I didn't even know. Like, I don't know her at all. The only reason I know her is through you. But the original thing was like, okay, she blew up because she dated you. Is that true, or was she already big? Because people are literally trying to rip my lungs out, being like, <laughs> that's bullshit. She was already big. She made Josh big. I'm like, yo, I don't even really know who this person is. <sighs> Well, I think just that be careful because this is going to be another recorded clip. Yeah, right I know. this is about to be the clip that goes mm -hmm. everywhere, isn't it, Bryce? Yep, it is. Well, yeah, answer see, it truthfully. You know what blows the shade up? Room, so be, the shade room. So the shade room. Uh, we want to be on the shade room, the TikTok shade room, and all that shit. So, but what's the real answer? <laughs> um, I think that I don't even I don't even want to even fucking talk about it anymore. I've been dealing with the ex stuff with Nessa for so long on. Social and he's media. actually like getting back together with her, so it's like. Super contradicting when he's like talking shit on his but podcast. But how is and that shit? Together every night. That's not talking shit when it's like I could probably go back and rewind like time and be like, all right, Josh had 10 million. She had, I don't know, whatever, or vice versa. Like it's probably out there if I really want to do the research. I mean, Bryce, yeah, the definitely. Question. You know the question. Like wh who was bigger when they start dating? Uh, Josh was bigger. Yeah. Okay, so, I mean, there's nothing Bryce, to be ashamed fucked. of, right? Uh, <laughs> hey, 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 Dave, I hope you know you just fucked Bryce. Bryce is fucked now. Dude, I was on a he, good he's streak. Getting, yeah. I was on a good streak, and now you just made me like, dude, I'm going to get canceled again. Yep. You just that's the me. softest stuff of all time. That's not an insult. Like, that's just history, you know? If no, but that's today's generation. That's, that's, that's how social media is now. If you say one little thing and it's in, it taken at all in the wrong direction, you are literally absolutely fucked 
Yeah, it's crazy you, because to canceled. me that's not even like an insult. It, it, if somebody's bigger and starts dating somebody, it happens all the time. Like you get famous off somebody. Who, it's not even on purpose. It's just the natural way social media or even right, before right. social media works. So that's strange. And I don't want to keep getting called like a pervert. Like I saw <laughs> – so somebody sent me. I didn't even know it was Nessa. She had like a music video. And I'm like, who is this person? I watched it. And have you guys seen the show um, You? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen You. So uh, the video it's, looks- it's that it, He doesn't know You. It's that show that went viral on TikTok, dude, about the glass case. It was like the glass case and they like puts, he puts people in it. You haven't seen it? It was nah, huge on Netflix. It. Anyway, it's like basically it. a stalker show. So I watched- the video and I didn't even know I was in a fight with Nessa but she has this video and I'm telling you there's a dude laying in this glass case being held hostage so I tweeted at her she doesn't know who I am I'm like yo if that's Josh who's laying in that case we're gonna have beef now that was <laughs> supposed to be a joke but it wasn't taken as a joke on social media no dude yeah, you, yeah like you cannot troll uh the TikTok community they don't they don't like the trolling they don't understand trolling it, and it's weird because it's like it's just certain fan bases that don't like the trolling. Because if you get into a, a different direction of TikTok, there's something called like the alt community on TikTok, and they they fucking love the trolling. They're like they're into it 100, percent and they'll like create fake drama on the app and like do all this stuff just for fun. Also, ten year olds don't understand the concept of sarcasm. True. Yeah, that's the other thing. I think that she she definitely has some younger fans too that went a little ballistic when uh, right saw and all the tweets. I got to look myself in the mirror when I'm getting in the mud, and that's what I call I'm like, I'm a mud guy. Like, I have mud gills. I love, like, being in, yeah. in these things. But there is a point. This is new for me. I look in the mirror. I'm like, Dave, you're fucking going back and forth with, like, a 10-year-old, and you're fucking 43. <laughs> like, what are you fucking doing? So there is a part of that. Is like, but I, isn't I guess it fun? Gotta, it's so fun. I gotta let it go. It's but these so people fun. are so mean, and I love mean. Like, people aren't yeah. – I've almost crafted like an image on the internet. It's like I don't want to say unfuckable, but I'll I'll go all in, and and we have this crazy fan base, and they'll go all in. I haven't had yeah. people be as mean to me as they were with this, and I respected it. I mean, the things they were saying was making me laugh. Like eighty years old, yeah. fucking pervert, all this shit. It was making me laugh. So, but I had to take a step back and be like, okay, I, I'm in a beef right now with a twelve year old. Who 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 made the the meme where we were beating the shit out of like the the fit like you know what I mean like oh, yeah. the weird we have a team well, who made that I, we have like oh, okay, a mean so they, team so when, when when shit starts <laughs> going they jump on it and start making these things right away oh shit okay because I saw, did, did you see that clip yeah, I think yeah, I yeah. showed you the the Twitter thing where it was yeah like, no that's funny as fuck yeah, yeah I, I, but everyone did not like that no, no yeah people really were now do you guys really like it them. like. Gruen, I mean, sent uh, personally, to me, he's like, Josh per loves this. He loves, like, the controversy and is good. Is that true? Personally, I think it's absolutely fucking hilarious. That was hilarious. I mean, like, I, I think that social media is so easily offended now. Like, it, it's it's so funny making jokes like that. It's like it's like this kid in social media named Loray. He just came out with this huge diss track, right? And in the diss track, like, every single social media creator was in it. So he was roasting every single person. It and wasn't every single. It was just it was like, like I mean, people. like all the pop and social media influencers. He roasted all of them. And uh, it's not like we go ahead and start tweeting back at him or like sending him death threats because he made a joke. Right. Just try like we laugh at it and we were in the music video. You know what I mean? What was the like inside when this was going on? Because I assume I think Bryce said, you, are you like with Nessa? Are you like getting back together with her? Were you like in contact with her? Like, are you all right? Or was it just... Yeah, he did say that. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why he said that. No, he sometimes is. Bryce just says weird things. No, he, he's definitely doing he, it. He, shut the shut the fuck up. So then, are you guys? <laughs> were you in contact over it the whole time? Are you like defend? Be like, yo, he's not that big of an asshole. He's not really like. Oh no! Yeah, she she texted me because yeah, she no, saw the he, clip and she was like, kind of just like asking like. Uh, she, she, I think she said she's like, did you say you made me? And I was like, no, I, I didn't even end up saying like I never said that. And then she looked at it and she was like, oh, it's it's not even a big deal. I don't know why people are overreacting. Well, why did she unfollow between us. Bruin or Gruen? She unfollowed Gruen because Gruen was going back and forth with all her fans. Got it. Yeah, and he, that's he, another he guy who's got to look at the He was having, he was having yeah, I mean, yeah. He was having not a exactly, field day with that. If you want to put, like, the image of a guy in a war with, like, a 12-year-old, you don't want to be Bruin. He's the guy, you know that gif where it's like, 
Have you ever seen a guy at the computer is like come all over the place? He's just looking at it. That's what kind of brewing. No offense. That's like what it would look <laughs> like if he's going back and forth with like a, a 12 year old. It's not same with me. The old. Yeah. You got to watch out who you get in these fights with. No. Yeah. I think Gruen is the last person you ever want to get into like an Internet trolling battle with. Yeah. It's just like you're. You're gonna no, no, no. Lose. Michael, Michael will just get very technical and use some science-based like retaliation to make you look and sound stupid. What? Yeah, 100%. Uh, all right, so that that's a little bit of the NASA. So you guys are getting back together. That's the word of court to Bryce. I got a note yeah, here a, that says you're getting back together with Addison. And I don't want to make this like the dating thing, but these are huge stars. You're you're getting back together with Addison Ray. Is that true? This is like a dating show. Is your is your podcast just like a dating no? Show? But these I are the know. notes I was given from from you know who sent them to me, Gruen. Yes, Michael. <laughs> Michael, stop fucking trying to get me to talk about Addison. Is yeah, that true? yeah. It doesn't we'll matter. Move on we from it. Say, I got like my cards. Like the yeah, day. we'll just we'll just move on from it. I don't no, talk it's about true. It. Yeah. So I, I think I think he's been with her at Dog Pound a couple times. Working out. Shut the fuck. He's been working out with her a couple times. So I mean, I guess we'll see where that goes, right, Bryce? Sorry, did you ask me a question? Oh, yeah, yeah, I would yeah, be nervous yeah. if you were with it because didn't Harry Styles like meet her the other day? That would make me nervous if I was actually like dating her. But I don't know. I won't go too far into it. But that if I, if that was my girl, I don't want her meeting Harry. Yo, Styles. Dave, how's yo, Dave, how's your dating life? You like fucking Selena Gomez or some shit? No, no, I, I'm single. I did get, and I haven't said this anywhere, and I'm going to talk about it on my other podcast. Nobody actually knows this. I did get a threatening email. Uh, not threatening. Somebody's like, somebody's shopping a sex tape of you. And it was like a LA fixer. They're like, I can get it stopped. I've already had two released, so I don't really care, but it's like not the thing you necessarily want to see. Um, I got that yesterday. Right. So I guess that's a matter of time Wait, until that happens. Are, but are, are we just going to skip by the fact that you said you've already had two of them get released? Yeah. Old, like kind of, I guess if you want to rewind, you guys are very different, but you know, when Barstool started, I never dreamed anybody would care about, like, watching me. So I was a, probably a little loosey-goosey more than I should have been. But somebody has old shit. They're not new. They're, like, years in the past. And there's no rhyme or reason when they get released. <laughs> You're like, it's years in the past. They're so, like, I grew since then. So trust well, me. Well, no, like, I got that smarter. Up. Like, you, you're, you're, <laughs> one of your big things is you're supposedly getting smarter, right? Weren't it, are you no longer, like... I mean, you were like the bad boy of all the TikTok, and now these notes say that you're trying to be more responsible. No, 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 no. I'm, st I'm still, I'm still 100% that guy. Okay. So there's but no I also, I also, it's like I have a brain kind of. It's like in there somewhere. Got it. You guys, yeah. well, no, you weren't Bryce. You went to the DR, right, Josh, with Vin Diesel? Yeah, yeah, I went. Uh, Bryce actually decided to lose his passport. But he doesn't really have a head on his shoulders, oh. and he just spilled an energy. See, this spilled, is what I'm dealing I with. I spilled dude. Annie all over this, my. This is what I deal foot. with every day at the sweat. Like, just spills an energy drink all over the place. Doesn't have a passport. Can't come to Dominican Republic. It's how was that? that? At home. And how did that come about? Like, Vin Diesel's an iconic guy, but I, de I mean, much like what we're doing here, I wouldn't see you guys and Vin Diesel being like best friends. It seems like a pretty odd pairing. No, yeah, it's definitely, uh, it's definitely an odd one. Um, I think that like we were down there just we were talking to him about a couple things uh, business related. So that was cool. And then uh, possibly doing a little thing with the podcast that the other podcast I have the so. movie one. Yeah, you guys. Yeah, yeah the movie this part, which is an interesting you guys are launching a billion podcasts between the sway house. Everybody has a podcast. A lot of you guys have multiple podcasts. Do you yeah. think it can be overkill? I think that we need to chill out now. I think that like everyone has what they, their their foundation and their base and like anything else is kind of overkill. I could probably do like five more podcasts before I burn out. You know, how many do you have right now, Bryce? Like eight. For, for real though. No, I'm I'm joking. I only have one, and I, I'm probably gonna do one more. Yeah. So like two podcasts. Like I mean, I think so two like, podcasts. I have my own that I, that I start at the same time. I, I don't even know how you do more than one. I think generally one is the thing. But you guys are all over. It's a huge thing. You're all over the chart, so that's great. What did you think of Vin Diesel? Uh, super cool guy. He was actually like, he was very, um, very accepting. Like he he kind of just like started being our friend right away. There was no kind of like we had to impress him or he him playing like big big dick or anything like that. It was instantly just like golf cart driving, going to the beach, like at his house eating dinner. Like it was dope. I mean, it looks crazy. I once saw Vin Diesel actually with my. It was at a horse race in Florida, and he got out of a, a Hummer, and he had like ten girls all dressed identical, 
Like I've never Dude, really they, seen. They anything they follow like, him everywhere. What's no, that? they follow him everywhere. Dude, I don't know if I'm allowed to to say this, but aren't they like trained? Fucking. I I I can't. I had to I had to sign a secrecy. Oh, um, you mean they were there? But, That's like they're with oh, him no, everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. pretty sure they're like they're like his bodyguards. Oh, I don't think they're bodyguards. They didn't look like they would be overly like protective. I didn't know they're everywhere. It was quite a scene. No, I feel like yeah. they're. I feel for some reason I just feel like they're like ninja. Yeah, they kind of they they have that look to them. They do look kind of like what ninjas, do you mean but they're were, everywhere, dude? What do you mean you were assigned to secrecy? No, I was just making a joke. I'm from, very curious. From, so I I thought he just hired them for this <laughs> horse race. For the look, I didn't know right? they went with them everywhere. It's the same ten girls no, everywhere. I I don't know if it like it's a rotating new, <laughs> but like they were they were dope. They helped with everything. They would dance like they were just like it was like a party twenty four seven. Yeah, and they can also break your neck. Probably. They're That's probably fucking assassins. wild. All right, I didn't know yeah, that. No, How is it, that dude, not, is that a well-known thing that I just don't know? Like, when I saw it, I was like, holy shit, Vin Diesel has 10 smoke shows all <laughs> dressed identical, like, trained to, like, be with him. But I guess he, it's like kind of a new age you have to move. Yeah, I have no idea if that's just, like, how he lives it, like, his life, if it's if it's a known thing. I, I don't know, man. He said but a new it, age you have to move. He, no, he's, he's yeah. big balling. Vin Diesel is big balling. At any level, were you like, is this weird? Um, It was actually 10 times more intimidating than if it would have been 10 big-ass dudes. I would have rathered it been, like, 10, because they were just, like, all staring at you, like, winking and flirting and, like, dancing. So then you're just, like, always on guard. Like, it's like, how do you sneak in the corner and, like, pick a, pick your nose or something, you know? Again, this is where I don't want to be the weird fourth, but if they're winking and dancing and flirting, like, were you like, I may hook up with one of these girls? Well, like, that, like, I think that they give off that vibe, but I'm pretty sure that, they, like, you're not supposed to. I think that's, like, their job. I think maybe that's part of it. They're, like, trying to make you feel comfortable, you know? I really don't that's know. That's why they're dead. I, re I, like, I really don't know. I've never been in that that's situation. The, that's the crazy part. You just, you have no idea why. It, it just it blows your mind. You're about to hook up one of, with one of his like ninja assassin girls, and then she just like freaking slits your throat. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys know this existed before you went? Like that he had these girls? No, not not at all. Yeah, I, I don't know that that's clue. like public consumption. Yeah, maybe 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 we're not allowed to say that. <laughs> the more you say that Yo. you're allowed, the better. Um, question: You guys are all. And I saw this, Charlie, and I'm going to fuck her name up because I always do. Dem I have it right in front of me. Demelio. Charlie Demelio. I got it right, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. He, he usually says Demeo. Yeah, so he, yeah he, I, heard, I heard him say that a few times. Demelio, that's, that's it. You yeah, so it. I have it in front. She caught a little bit of heat because, and I know you guys are on Triller, but she posted something on TikTok where she essentially was like, hey, I'm going to do the WAP dance, come watch it on Triller, and then she just didn't. And now our fans are like, you kind of fucked this over. You want to go watch this dance. What do you think of a move like that? I know you're like the chief strategy officer, right, for this, mm. Josh? Yeah. So as yeah, the chief strategy officer, what do you think of this bait and switch move by Charlie DeMeo? <laughs> the little, little bait and switch. I mean, uh, I think that she probably just wasn't allowed. Is she just not allowed to post the WAP race? I'm pretty sure I've seen her do the WAP like eight times. Like on on camera on, on video TikTok, on, on TikTok. TikTok yeah oh then yeah I mean I don't know why she wouldn't have just done it but I thought it was because like her parents didn't let her do the WAP because she's only like sixteen right so like they didn't want her shaking her certain areas on like camera and putting that on video I'm pretty sure I've seen like all these TikTok people shake everything they have on TikTok but at, again <laughs> it feels so weird talking about a sixteen yeah I know like that's why I didn't like yeah anyways we need to move on. <laughs> well, well, no, like this would. No, if I, I was mean, the chief strategy officer of Triller. This would piss me off because it made Triller look bad, and they're spending all this money. And I read more. They gave you the. That's the car that you drive a million miles per yeah. hour in, right? No, yeah, that's how I got that car. Like I saw people actually commenting on one of the posts where we talked about the car. They were like. Uh, he talked about spending money, what, like being good at spending money, and then uh, he has a three hundred thousand dollar car, good investment, and then uh, it was funny because like I didn't pay for that car, right? So. And all yeah. that stuff. So how do you think Triller is going right now? Be honest. I mean, I, I mean, like I think that the the idea with the flip day was a great idea. I think like we were moving people over, and it was like raising awareness for uh, the fans on music, or I mean, musically. <laughs> TikTok, TikTok to uh, move over to Triller. So, um, I mean, it worked. It went up to number four in the App Store that day, I think. So, would you invest in Triller, either of you, 
Honestly, I mean, we did. Didn't they just give it to yeah, you obviously. to like give you stock and equity to get your audiences over there, as opposed to like you actually put money in your own money into Triller? Uh, yeah, we did that as well. We did both. So, um, it was kind of like we thought that there was like two paths we could go down. We could either go down the path of building a brand new app for ourselves because we believed that TikTok was gonna be is gonna be banned, or we could go and team up with Triller. And uh, Triller was just like the better bet they were well uh rounded and they were thinking a lot about the creator first so yeah we talked about i always think when you try to like create social media platforms from the top it's super hard it has to be like organic right. like no one when nobody knows it's coming that's when it sort of works what else we i mean i think that kind of wraps up most of the stuff most of the stuff that i have here um yeah what is this right here bryce i'm looking bryce says he's changing his party animal mentality yeah, I was just about to bring that up. Like, Bryce, you, you said you're still the same kid that's, like, the bad boy of TikTok, but you're changing. So what what is it? Because you also got into a beef, like, on, like, a a Twitter beef fight with Zach Clayton. Dude, I'm not. I'm not Who's Zach Clayton? 100%. This kid that, like, tweeted out. Um, okay, here, he, let me get, here, let me give you yeah, context. Yeah, no, who, go ahead. Give your story. who this guy is. Zach Clayton, two years ago. Um, I got into a fight with him and he lied on my name saying I hit on, I hit him 30 times in a bathtub. Um, Tana Mojo made a video on me about it. Like everyone canceled me for this fight because they thought I hit this kid 30 times in, in a bathtub and, and everyone believed him because his face was fucked up. What, what do you, so, in a so bathtub? with that being said, yeah, like yeah, pushed him so into a bathtub. We got, we got into a fight the two, year, two years ago. We got into a fight two years ago. mental image to have someone just wailing on somebody in a bathtub. Yeah. But it, go ahead. Yeah, yeah crazy, I know. Right? I know. And he, he lied like to everyone and everyone still believes it to this day. But kind of a lot of people forgot about it. Um, is, so this is it, kind of not that I care. Is he gay? No, no. Why would no. Why would a straight guy openly say he got beat up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was pretty fucking funny. No, yeah, he. he got I didn't it. even mean I that. Mean, like, to be, I'm being serious. That's the only per way I thought. Okay. Like, you picked on someone who, like, not that they're. I'm sure no. they're super tough gay guys. Anyways, go on. No, no, it was, it was, a, it was over a girl. It was stupid, but uh, I hit him like four times. He lied and said I hit him like thirty times. I'm like, dude. You want to see what 30 times looks like. But anyways, it's like people are just so stupid and, and oblivious and like they're, they're so they just believed it immediately because his face was fucked up. So this kid then again, like two years later, he's fallen off. like he's not anything now. Like so it's like karma's really a bitch. Right. But um, he tweeted out saying, like, I'm very convinced that all these influencers that still go to parties just don't own a brain. What do you guys think? Just kind of trying to get like favorites for Twitter, because actually this kid. Has gone. To, he went to my birthday party. That got a, a, a lot of backlash. He went to Nyjah Houston's birthday party, or not birthday party, but just party last week. Like I've seen this kid out many times, and I kind of quoted the tweet because I saw the tweet and it irritated me because I'm like, these kids are so fucking fake, so fucking fake. Like how are you, like he I don't pretty care. much quoted the kid's tweet and said like, this is an example of a fake influencer. If you guys are gonna say things, at least like you know, do practice what you preach. practice what you preach. Right. Yeah, practice what you preach. So I mean, that's kind of like I mean, Dave, that seems like something you would do. Like you would call someone out if they were doing some shit like that. Yeah, that would drive me nuts when people, and, and that's everywhere. That's not new to necessarily like TikTok world or probably social media, but people are fake. They say you know, and, and that's everything. It's like people say one thing, do another thing. That happens in politics. It happens in TikTok. It happens everywhere, and that does drive me nuts. I'm more confused on a guy who would be bragging about getting beat up. I don't understand how that. Oh, he, dude, that was the peak of his career. Like when, when he lied and said all that stuff, everyone loved him. He was on like a rise. Like he was, he was popping off. That's, that's. Sad, and then now, dude. now he's like trying to act like we're friends, trying to put me in YouTube video. Dude, it's so like, he's using my, my ex relationship for views and some videos. Like what, dude, what was the ex relationship? Like he, uh, me and Addison. So it's you like, and he, he literally still titled, together. No. But I mean, he, yeah, he, what, what, why he you guys don't tell the, the truth? You, you say yes to each other, like yeah, absolutely. And by the way, for anyone listening, I was at the house, and my vibe is you guys are together with these girls. You just don't put the official title, but they're over the sway house, according to what's going on, like all the time. <laughs> he just Anyways, out of this. Anyway. He he titled the video <laughs> I mean, that's a like fucking him. fact. We have it on video. <laughs> he no, we don't. That, 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 no, was, that was Amelie we and Blake. Do. 
We have the cameras oh, rolling. When wow. I sat down on the couches, you guys like, oh, yeah, Addison <laughs> comes over, Nessa comes over, and we're like still kind of – it's on camera. Uh, I don't remember that. No, me neither. Well, either. that's why um, I'm saying it's on camera, and we can just put it in this part if we want. No, it's all good. You don't, you don't have to put it in. It's all good. <laughs> no, yeah, it's okay. We can just, we can just <laughs> cut this bit out. But uh, <laughs> oh, fuck. Would you say – if you had to put like percentages, 80% of social media hates me, 50%, 20, I'm 80% love. Like, where are you? Where's your, are you like loved or hated? I think it's like a 50, 50, 50, hate, 50, love right down the middle. It's like, there's not, there's not people that are like, Oh, I kind of like him. It's either, Oh, I fucking hate him or, Oh, I fucking love him. Well, that's the place you want to be, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. It's like a, it's like a good place. Right? I, mean, I like it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Anything else? Did we miss anything else? You guys got any, anything else you want to talk about? Or are we good here? Um, I mean, Bryce, what are you doing right after this podcast? Uh, I'm going to go work think? out. Working out with anybody specific? You're going without us. No, right. I mean, thank some... you for laying that down. I, why don't you say it? I don't understand the whole thing. Like these little smiles, these little teenage <laughs> smiles. Like, oh, like, why don't you just fucking <laughs> Dude, say I, it? Who cares? It's not even teenage, bro. I'm 21. I just don't like to... Put my uh, my stuff on social media. I'm like very private when it comes to this stuff. Yeah, you're super private, <laughs> king yeah, private. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how I love how he's like, I don't do those teenage smiles. I'm an adult, and then he says the private thing. Looks at me, smile. <laughs> yeah, yeah, does, the exact, does the exact does the exact fucking thing when you're mine. But yeah, you guys, it's almost like, and I, maybe you guys, I'm not giving you. I mean, I obviously said it in the thing like. We did a Forbes interview. I'm like, yeah, Josh is way more calculating than people give him credit for. Maybe that's what you're both doing now. Like, yeah, it's obvious, but we're just tagging people along. doing. The, it's like a, a romance sitcom. I'm not going to say I'm dating the girl, even though I'm dating the girl, because I want the, the pop to come down the road. Because you guys just laugh, smile. Oh, we're not dating. You know, they may be over the house 24-7. We may be fucking, but we're not going to actually say it. Fine. I don't care. We'll get it in a later episode. Get them on the podcast. Get one of those people on the podcast. I'd love to talk to, like either one of them, and see what the deal is. But all right, all right, we'll get we'll get one of them on for sure. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, let's get Nessa and let me be on. And let me be on again. I'll fucking ask the questions you really want me to ask. Fine, tell me <laughs> yeah. the questions to ask. I will ask the questions to ask, and I will go back and do the research on who blew up who. Because even though Josh didn't split, and, and by the way, there is nothing wrong. Okay, with I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Nessa 100 percent blew up Josh. Like, Nessa had more followers. I don't know why he's, like, trying to put up his front, like, he blew yeah. her up and yeah. shit. Yeah, and now you guys but. are just playing nice. I know that's a lie. All right, fine. Get somebody <laughs> on the show, I'll ask her point blank to the face, and we'll see from there. And that was you in the music video. Was it not supposed to be you who was getting held hostage, Josh? I, I don't I don't know if that uh, is supposed to be She didn't say me. anything Yeah, that. like, she never, like, brought it up, so. It was like when you guys were in a fight. Yeah, yeah she's like, ah, fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. You're going to be locked in a cage. Uh, some, when, so, uh, I, some, somebody did send me that video, and I didn't even know what I was watching. And then another person's like, again, the pervert, they're like, you're jacking off that video. It's like, I, dude, I don't even know who it is. Like, I just clicked on a fucking link. But her fans, they came at me, and they came yeah. at me hard. Yeah, I respect no, yeah, her fans are ride or Dude, die. Dude, it's so funny seeing like people outside of like the TikTok community get some of the TikTok community hate. Yeah, yeah, I know <laughs> what you mean. Because then the, they they finally, I, I feel like they have a new uh, found like appreciation. I feel like, like the, the respect level for yeah, the TikTok and the ten year olds. Dude, the ten year olds like go hard, bro. Super. There's hard. no there's no censor. There's there's no sense of moral. So it's like Dude, they don't like give the a word, shit. The words they say, like I didn't know those words when I was ten. That's why it's I love like, it. How, how, I, I love it's it. Like, They're just like crazy. backing me down the paint and like dunking on me. And like, I'm like, all right, this is kind of fun. And I haven't seen, like you said, <laughs> the emoji use. It's like different language. They look like Cam Newton when he tweets. Like, I, I don't even know what they're saying, <laughs> but I love it. So I'm all in on it. That's why I like Fuck. it. But all right. Yeah. Try to get Ness on next time. Or Addison Ray. Addison Ray is probably too big. She's like, probably fuck you guys. But uh, And I'd watch out yeah. for Harry Styles if you're dating her. That's, that's elderly advice right there. All right, that's uh, BFS. You know. All right, peace. Peace. Thanks for Thanks having me. Thanks for coming on, Bryce.